man, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Robert Anton here, RobertAnton.com, coming to you, the no reels, the voice commentary from a singer. Okay, this is gonna be hard today because I had a little problem. I fell on my face and I've been to the emergency room on Saturday and I'm not gonna make any excuses. I'm just gonna get into it, do the commentary, and hopefully it comes out well. Tonight, the voice goes live and the coaches each pick one eliminated artist from any team to return and to compete. Team Christina and Team Blake go tonight and the other two teams go tomorrow night and results are on Wednesday night. Teams will be cut in half on Wednesday night. Also, America gets the vote starting tonight. A lot of stuff starting tonight. The iTunes multiples also start tonight and any song that goes into the top 10 overall iTunes charts get multiplied by 10. So here's what happened. Tonight the theme is stripped down performances. We started with Team Blake. Paxton Ingram did How Deep Is Your Love by Calvin Harris and the Disciples. During rehearsal Blake advised him to watch his pitch and then Paxton taught Blake some dance moves. So Paxton started this out in an MJ wide leg stance and had the little breathy hiccups like Michael Jackson. I was waiting for him to come away from the mic stand and bust some moves. This was a good vocal but not enough melody to really hold it all together and no story to bring on emotion but he's a really good performer. Christina called it some entertainment. Pharrell congratulated him for having his moment. Adam said it was refreshing to see someone come out and have the greatest time and said he made us all feel good. Team Christina next said Ryan Quinn. He did Not the Only One by Sam Smith and he picked up the guitar for rehearsal and Christina told him to not be afraid to be vulnerable and try to bring the hurt out of him. She also asked him to sing without his glasses. He lost the guitar and the glasses for this performance and really seemed to be trying to express the hurt in the song. His voice is so gorgeous, but the added look of him about to cry and getting angry also made this performance really great. Some really nice falsetto and sweet runs, but he also had grit and angst so much better than his last performance. All the coaches stood for him. Pharrell said he was very tender and the control was amazing. Adam said it was his best performance he'd ever seen him do. Team Blake next had Katie Basden. She did Georgia Rain by Trisha Yearwood. And Blake just asked her to end the song with a bigger note during rehearsal. So she sounded sweet starting this out and I felt myself rocking back and forth. Her voice is so solid and grounded and she was telling the story and just comfortable up there all by herself. That big note was nice too but I liked how she ended it really sedate, brought it back down and just ended it really nicely. Pharrell asked her some questions and told her she's a great storyteller. Adam called her so good and said it's like she's already a big country star. Team Christina had Kata Hay do Natural Woman by Aretha Franklin and Kata showed her some yodeling and Christina wanted her to take out the tremble and the, and the vibrato for this song so she told her to work on her control. I love that Kata was taking on a ballad to start out and something with so much meat and power. I mean this is Aretha Franklin right here. She was having a hard time keeping out the vibrato, but she brought a lot of sass while digging into the lyrics. Her walking the stage and gyrating to the lyrics while singing and all that rasp coming through was very exciting. I like her more and more every time I see her. Pharrell called it super spirited. Adam said it was like an exorcism. And if you think this is like an exorcism, make sure to thumb up the commentary and let me know. I'm suffering over here and I'm still working hard for you guys trying my best to talk and have some kind of enunciation. Oh my goodness. Make sure to thumb up the commentary please, and pass it around. Thank you so much for your thumbs. Next, we found out Team Christina's comeback artist. It was Nick Hagelin, and he did Stay by Rihanna. And Christina tried to get him to make his falsetto more tender and emphasize his strong points. So he shaved his head, and he had a nice mix going to start this out. And he did go a little in and out of his falsetto. There were actually some very good transitions. The big notes had a nice ring, but I wasn't really liking some of his nasal sounds. His falsetto was pretty good, and his emotion was there. I just wasn't totally sold. Pharrell said he deserves to be on the show. Adam told him he was happy to see him back but said he's still in the process of improving. Then Team Blake had Joe May do Long Train Running by the Doobie Brothers and Blake asked him to hit one chorus just like the original while Joe said he wants to make sure it builds. And I love this song so much now let me tell you I always try to do it on the gigs and they'll never let me do it because I'll probably do it just like this. He started it out slow and kind of preaching to the audience and showing off coming down with dipping the mic stand and everything. I loved how he was working the stage with so much energy and the vocal stayed strong. He was kind of winded by the end but kept that vocal steady and gave us some good notes and more dancing. Just a full packaged performer. Blake and Christina stood for him. Christina called it so much fun and noticed his fire. 
Team Blake next had Adam Wakefield do Seven Spanish Angels by Willie Nelson and Ray Charles. And Blake told him he throws away a lot of words and told him to get them all in there while they were in rehearsal. Of course, he had his guitar and his cowboy hat. Loved the sound of his voice, though I didn't always understand the lyrics. This was sweet, but wasn't very exciting for me, and I don't know why. I'm usually so into his vocal and the way he performs, but it just didn't touch me tonight. Adam Levine said he's his favorite because he tells the story with his voice and told him he's a huge fan. Team Christina had Tamar Davis do Rise Up by Andre Day. Christina gave her a lot of notes and sang a little to her and also arranged the music one or two things to support her vocal better. The pace on this in the beginning seemed just a little quick, but she sang it well and kept up. She was sailing through the beginning of the chorus, but came off a little shaky into the falsettos. This was very ambitious and she did okay, but some of it went flat and she was late landing a few notes. Pharrell and Christina stood for her. Pharrell said it was precise and noticed her rainbow range. Blake said she has a presence that just makes him smile and called it her best so far. Do you agree? Let me know down in the comments. Then Team Blake had Mary Sarah do Rose Garden by Lynn Anderson and Blake noticed that she was starting to run out of air and advised her to always have enough air or her pitch would suffer. So she started this out slow and handling the lyrics very sweetly. Then she kicked in some tempo and had such a Sandra D vibe going on. Did you see that? Her tone was so nice with very husky low notes. This was a well-rounded performance and she amped it up while slowing it down for the ending. Very, very nice. Christina called it super solid. Adam said she came to life more in the upper register. Next team, Christina had Brian Bautista do Pillow Talk. Ow! Pillow Talk! by Zayn Malik and Christina lowered the key so he would have room to play over the original melody. That first note was a little iffy and he seemed to be a little unsure as he started this out. Wasn't really projecting like he normally does. He got more comfortable as he came away from the mic stand and I was liking some of his melody changes. Of course his big notes with the falsetto were exciting and totally on point. Nice change up for the ending. All the coaches stood for him. Pharrell told him he has what it takes to win. Adam said he was blown away tonight. Blake called him smooth with range and a perfect voice. Team Blake's comeback artist tonight was Justin Wisnant. He did Here's a Quarter Call Someone Who Cares by Travis Tritt. Love that title. <laughs> He played guitar and gave a nice straightforward country boy performance. His voice fit the song really well and the lyrics were front and center. I like when he took the mic off the mic stand and really laid a wail on us. This was a really good performance though I wish he would have slung the guitar over his back at some point. Pharrell said he sings with so much passion and feeling. And in the pimp spot we had Team Christina with Allison Porter. She did Cry Baby by Janis Joplin and Christina complimented her a lot and told her not everything needs an ending and she actually told her to throw some things away and she demonstrated demonstrated what she meant. Allison was deep into this lyric as she started with such a solid sound and really pulled out the power as she launched into the title line. This had me pulling for her and really into her story and waiting on those power notes and I was totally satisfied when she pulled them out and just was like, oh my god, this is so wonderful. Christina and Blake stood for her. Adam told her he's not surprised and called her the winner again. Christina talked about her range, delivery, and accuracy. And that's the show tonight and I made it through. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Team Adam and Team Pharrell perform tomorrow night. I hope to see you then. This is Robert Airtight. I'm out.